had driven home, he had been gone for a couple hours, our ducks have been free ranging really well, and saw something sleeping by their coop. Solo could not find one trace a feather or anything. Judah, I think, is gonna take some kids back to the beach tonight. I get a phone call from Judah to tell me what happened the minute they got there. He didn't know how to swim. He got caught up in a riptide and taken real deep in. Yeah. I don't remember spinning so fast. And yeah. Swam. Did you ever hesitate as you were going into the water and thinking, I wonder if I should do this? 20, 30. Of rescue people? Of police, different, different rescue wow. people all along. Welcome back to another video. I am down in sunny Florida at my parents house with all the kids but one. If you've been watching every video we do, you probably see my Ask Sarah videos where you got a sneak peek of the fact that I'm down here. But it's been so fun. I actually came. It's been fun and stressful, but I'll tell you about the stressful part later. It's not been the kids at all. I came without Solo. He has a lot of work right now and oh, a boat just went by. So competing with the waves. He has a lot of work right now and Belle decided to stay with him. She's training in loan processing uh, for his business. So they just stayed back and I really felt like it would be helpful for him if I got the kids out of the house just for a couple weeks, came down here, not quite two weeks. And yeah, I don't know if it's helpful to him or not. <laughs> he wishes he was here, but um, he is getting a lot done. So I'm also kind of, I'm working a lot too. So it's a little bit of a work trip for me, but, and then, like this morning, I spent hours braiding Destiny's hair because between the beach vacation, our swimming this summer, and checking for ticks at our property <laughs> will really help to have her hair up. Right. So we've been here for a few days. The trip down went good. My mom actually, here she is. Oh, hi. Don't, I didn't look at myself like <laughs> you look at yourself. I did. I told her I've been trying to check. I've been trying to check myself better before I film. But you will be sweating here. Because <laughs> I'm always like sweating terrible. But every film here you will be sweating. <laughs> Boogers in my nose, I hear whatever. And she told me sometimes people comment, um, which I see those too, that I look tired and pregnant, they think I'm pregnant. And I, we were laughing, I told her that there are people in my real life that no matter when I announce a pregnancy, they always say, I knew it. And I told them, I'm not pregnant. I told, I was telling her, I'm not pregnant right now, but if I, if I said, oh, by the way, I'm pregnant, I would have a whole bunch of people in my life that would be like, I knew it! <laughs> Even if it's not true. Oh boy, oh, she's getting on him. Anyway, it's been a good trip. We've been here for a few days. My mom, Judah, and I drove, well, we let Luca drive a little bit on the way down. We let him drive through Jacksonville, Florida, which is the biggest city he's driven in. And after that, we're like, okay, get out. <laughs> Get out of the car. He did pretty good. He did really good on the highway driving. And the city is, he needs some experience. In, but we made it, we made it out alive. Last few days, we've just been getting to the beach. Um, I've had, like I said, some stressful situations, which I'll tell you about in a little bit. But um, the beach has been really calm, not a lot to film. We're just enjoying the beach. We try to get to the beach every day when we're here. Your hair looks blown back. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't I just even get got off like my brand new hay bike, electric bike, the city runner. <laughs> I did not drop. I took he looks me a like while. he put his finger in a socket. Your hair is like all blown back. To get figured it out. I went around four miles in I don't know how little time. I never dropped at high speed, which I was doing mostly because I'm trying to, you know me. Yeah. 21 and a half miles an hour. Oh, brother. And I had no helmet on. Oh, brother. I will put my helmet back on. Yeah. I'm telling you. You'll need you. it for that, one. And buddy. I need, uh, like, rear view mirrors and everything. I mean, you're keeping up you're with You're like, track. oh, that's scary. It's nuts. It's fun. <laughs> Wait till you see it. I'll re record. Can I try oh, that? no, no, no. It's my bike. It's my bike. The boys were just kayaking, even Noelle, I guess. Yeah, she did good. First time ever. I heard she got in and screamed, help. Yeah, she did. <laughs> so we went in and rescued her, but. She did it, you know, back in October when we were here, I think. I so once she remembered. And Seth, he has, he was swimming last fall in our pool at home. He's been forgetting how to swim, but here he remembered. I just made him swim again. I, I kind of forced him to do it once and it all came back to him. He was just afraid. He was just crying, afraid, clinging to the side. And when I just 
pulled him away and made him swim once, it all came back to him and he swam right away. Same with the ocean actually, he was crying, afraid to touch the water. And I finally picked him up and took him all the way in and then he wanted to swim out there the entire time, he loved it. So, so glad he remembered how to swim. You're a big boy. Yep. <laughs> and you? You're not swimming yet, are ya? So my parents live on an inlet and in, of the ocean and people always ask about alligators if we're afraid of alligators right here on the shore. No one has ever seen an alligator in this area because we're too close to the ocean. So the water is moving fast enough. Otherwise, yeah, we wouldn't be just swimming there. Oh yeah, so they, they are found like way up in this inlet, but not in this part at all, ever. Too salty, so. That's how we're, that's how we do this with confidence, but we, we don't let them swim out here alone because it can be moving with tides coming in and out too. What we do see sometimes here is manatees. That's really cool. Like the cow of the ocean, they call them. So Desi's hair, I only had long extensions that I brought from home and her hair will last two months. It'll be looking pretty shaggy in two months, but I'll let it go two months. So that's two months of not combing. She's, or not detangling or whatever, she's very happy. This little piggy had roast beef, this little piggy had none, and this little piggy went wee 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 yeah, all the way. I had to pause Judah's Beach Boys so I could tell you we're headed back to the beach to be Beach Boys. <laughs> Was that lunch good? Yeah. I want more. Desi, how's the sandcastle? Good. Peace. Ah. Luca and Judah went to get haircuts and Peace or Seth is so brave now. He needs someone with him at all times because he's just wanting to swim right on out. They're each taking half hour turns with him because I'm here with baby. <laughs> well, I'm a oh, whoa, Tina, Luca. You guys look like different people. That one guy walking down the beach carrying the big of mayonnaise. <laughs> oh yeah, thanks for the mayonnaise. Yeah. Was it a good haircut place you found? Yeah. You're happy? Yeah. Looks great. Do you like yours? Yeah. Yeah, it's really short. I was not intending. Oh no! No, but it's fine. Well, now you won't need a haircut for a long time. <laughs> yeah. I'll get one more before I leave. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. I think you just set us some crackers. Okay, we're back. We swam in the pool. It was lovely. My dad's made a big dinner because my grandparents came. I love that they moved to Florida from Arizona because now we see them a lot more. And what we're doing here is we're having spaghetti tonight. In fact, show, show your... Oh, oh. <laughs> yes. He's a professional the here. Uh, here, here. <laughs> a little advertisement. Yes. We have pasta with a drizzle of nice uh, finishing oil on top. Okay. Uh, uh, bread, uh, garlic bread. Beautiful pot of Ooh, that uh, good. spaghetti in a salad with a nice Wonderful. dressing on it. We have fresh basil oh, and course. we have fresh Parmesan. Oh, Reggiani. I would expect nothing less. Yes. Okay. Yes, and we have her. Yeah. <laughs> okay, turn around uh, there, okay. little one. Okay. There's Grandma. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Grandpa. Oh, my hair's probably too no, Oh, don't grandma. worry about it. Your Who's hair your looks friend? good. Tori Pray. Okay, by your head, Pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. I pray, pray that you please bless the food to our body. So thank you for letting Grandma and Grandpa get here safely. I pray that we'll have a great night tonight. Amen. 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 Come over here. Tell me what you want to help the little ones. Lord. You want some spaghetti? Tori, your hair looks incredible as always. It has blood on it. Do you like it? Yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. Really? Yeah, I like it. 
I know you like it. She said it's not the one she wants. She wants a different kind. You changed her mind? How does that happen? It has nuts on it. Are you sure you like it? Here we go. Go sit over at the table, please. Hey, go sit at the table. It's Rice Krispies stuff. On it. Really good. Do you like it too? Yeah. You can't eat it though because you don't have a, a tooth in the front. <coughs> I can eat it. You sure? Oh. Wow, Micah, good job. Thanks for helping with the dishes. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're loading the dishwasher. Don't work. It's your head back. Yeah, you got to put your head way back. Put your head back. No, no. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> you, know, you know what, Papa's right. It's there, I'm telling Papa's you. Papa's right. There's Maybe some hiding in there. <laughs> this morning we saw a double beautiful rainbow over the water. And nope, <laughs> tonight is a beautiful sunset. Okay, it's obviously the next day, um, sun is back, and I wanted to tell you about the chaos that happened, because I think it's an interesting story. I learned something anyway, so I'll share it with you. As we were driving down here, someone in my family, who will remain nameless to protect the mostly innocent, <laughs> was trying to help me with my course launch that was happening like the next morning, so it was the middle of the night. My course was gonna launch in the morning while we were driving, like the video that says I did a course, something I've been working on literally for nine months or more, and especially the last six weeks I've been just uploading and doing all these details for the site, and it's all new, like so it's a lot of information, which makes it overwhelming. It wouldn't be quite so overwhelming if we weren't doing so many other things at this time in our life, but I just, I needed to get this course done, and off of my, mind you know when you have a project so the timing probably wasn't the best because we have so much else going on if you've been watching our vlogs you know it is it like all collided at once but i still just felt i need to get it done so anyway said person was just noticing that i hadn't done much with my web design for the launch and was trying to help fix that and ended up accidentally <coughs> deleting my entire course entire course and everything i could find this is like 1 a.m probably at this time that we realized this would happen maybe 12. everything i could find said when you delete it you cannot get it back it's done i didn't delete the actual videos that i filmed my course is all a video course it's like 49 lessons thank the good lord i just i didn't delete all those videos or this person did not delete all the videos because they're stored in a separate place but all the uploading all the details all the things i had discovered to set everything up and a solid five weeks of work gone so uh, it was very overwhelming like shock <laughs> it was supposed to launch I don't know, five or six hours later. It was so bad, like super stressful. So I just decided, okay, I gotta, I have to change the video. I can't announce that the course is live. I'll have to do that next week. Here we are driving on vacation. Instead of vacationing, I'm going to be spending all my time uploading this course, because I have to get it out a week from now. At this point, I'm on this train. I cannot stop, because it just will never leave me alone. I was very, like, it would have been hard for me to smile at this point. Like, I would have really been faking it if I had to smile. So, long story short, I kept working on it with the company that I'm working with and all this. Just, just to ask. I sent out an email just to ask if there's anything that can be done. I'm waiting hours and hours. Just, I had to get over it in my mind. Within about an hour, I just decided, you know what, there's nothing. Maybe less than an hour. <laughs> He's making noise. Hi! <laughs> I realized there is absolutely nothing I can do about it. I didn't want the person who did it to feel bad. I mean, that person already felt very bad, but I didn't want a, that to go on or to get worse. And there was nothing I could do about it but move forward. So I, once I really let that sink in, I was able to move past it. It took me about an hour, to be honest. But also, I noticed that my mood affects the mood of the car. We're all in this car together. So I adjusted my mindset and decided, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, Re redo it. That's what I'll be doing this week. I'll find time. I'm at my parents. I'll be able to help watch the kids. We'll get it done. 
and I was able to truly let it go. I really felt a lot of peace about it. Fast forward to 5 a.m. I got, I just randomly checked my email and I just got an email from the company that said that they were able to restore the entire thing, which is not something they normally do. It was such a miracle. I could not believe it. A couple days later, I got a call from Solo after we got there, maybe one, one day after we arrived in Florida. It takes us two days to drive down. And he told me, he sent me a voicemail of the ducks quacking loudly and I'm like oh my ducks miss me then he called me no he had driven home he had been gone for a couple hours our ducks have been free ranging really well it was daytime hours he got home drove home after being gone for a couple hours and saw something sleeping by their coop and knew right away sure enough the coyote saw him got up and left got with three of our ducks the coyote had eaten three of our ducks so devastating. He ate Tori's favorite. Um, oh, that was so heartbreaking. We realized it was nice that we got to actually see what it was, but now we realize that the ducks that died on the water, probably they do wander around. When they were on the water, they wandered out in the forest and stuff a little. Because it was also three we lost that time, that is probably the coyote. Uh, Solo could not find one trace a feather or anything and that's what had happened by the lake which is why we thought maybe they drowned or a turtle snappy turtle or something but that coyote got got away with the, them clean and obviously he got full with three because he was just laying there they were all the rest of them the other seven were just freaking out so that was so hard we just have to get some air in a tire <laughs> run our way to a mall shopping anyway the ducks so devastating. I think the ducks will always be my favorite. I started with the ducks and I really liked the ducks and it was so sad. Also nothing I could do about it, but actually there was something I could do. My friend Jay Morell, who's on YouTube here, she had sent me a link a while back for some electric poultry fencing and she said, you're gonna need this eventually. And she was right, we needed it. So I ordered it right away. It's actually already arrived and Solo is already setting it up. Uh, I wanted them to free range. I would really like some Great Pyrenees, their livestock guardian dogs. Solo and I had decided that it's probably better to wait on the Great Pyrenees until we're done building because we'd have so many strangers on the property all the time. I would love to know if you agree with that assessment because you they really do guard the property. They guard, if we have poultry and they're introduced as young puppies, they would guard the poultry, all that. So yeah, anyway, sickening feeling. That was stressful. Um, Solo chased that coyote around looking for it with a gun for like an hour and a half. <laughs> I knew he wouldn't find it. I don't, but you know, it's a bad feeling. That next day, I went to upload some videos to my editor, my wonderful editor, Chris. I uh, realized that my card was corrupted. I could not get any of the, the videos. And no matter what I tried, I could not get them. And it wouldn't be a big deal, but there were two vlogs on my SD card. A lot of vlogs I do, I, I would just let it go, no big deal. And one of them was not a big deal to me. It was actually something that I was able to refilm, but one was very special to me. It was Mother's Day. Why are you thumbs downing, Hope? <laughs> it was Mother's Day vlog. And not only had I asked for a really special gift that my kids gave me, that I just wanted the memory of, like I just wanted that video memory. It was really about what I had lost. I ordered a program, tried to get it all recovered. It's, it didn't work, it didn't work, okay? Judah's working and working on this. We're spending hours on it. Not only of that Mother's Day gift, but also it was Tori's baptism. And the vlog was just overall fun. I really liked that vlog. I was looking forward to seeing it after my editor had it. Oh, that was devastating. Actually, I think that was harder for me to deal with mentally than losing my course. Because I still had that video footage of my course. And this was gone forever. So I had to really, I had to really work on myself. We went and visited a friend's, a friend of my parents have a farm. that They're doing all this stuff on their little acreage rather, a homestead. And she had set it up with her friend that we could come visit. I I was just, again, having trouble like faking a smile. And I noticed it was affecting everyone in the car as we were driving out there. So I had to really work on myself. I was like, okay, there's nothing you can do about it. Just move on, telling myself, you know. And this time, it was harder. I was not snapping out of it. I just started praying, Lord help my attitude. I was praying it out loud. <laughs> 
And by the time we got there, I felt like I was really able to let it go, like just move on. I'm done. What's done is done. You know, if it can't be done, this tire is not pumping up here. We're gonna have to go to another gas station. But what's done is done. I really was able to let it go. It was not easy. By that evening, I had actually reached out to my editor and just mentioned that I had lost a whole video. And she told me of a program that she used when that happened to her. At just a last ditch effort, I tried it, and, it, and then it took forever, but the next morning, all of it was recovered, the whole video. I just, I could not even believe how God was that good to me two times in a row with my technology problems. It was amazing, so. All right, did we shop till we dropped? Peace. We sure did. We got this. Um, couple people needed shoes, sandals that were falling apart or lost. And a couple people needed tennis shoes because we're going home next week to a track meet the next day. So we had to get those here. And we picked up this outdoor, like, um, kind of Jenga set, too, that we'll take home with us. My dad stayed home. I don't know why he got out of it. But my mom and I are really tired. <laughs> We're tired out from all the shopping. We're, neither one of us are big shoppers. But uh, yeah, it was good. It was a fun time. The kids had really wanted to shop. Like they wanted to go to a mall. We did escalators and elevators and we did outlet malls. That's where we found most of the stuff we bought. So my battery died when I was talking to you in the car. Um, but I wanted to just tell you, I feel like I learned a lot through these challenging little roller coasters I went on. Obviously none of them are detrimental. They were for the ducks. But they're ducks, they're not children or spouse or anything like that. They were just cha real challenges though, like stressful moments which we all have throughout our days. I wish I would have adjusted my attitude quicker each time, but at the first time I really kept telling myself, you know, the Lord's in control, he knew if my vacation consists of the whole time in front of the computer basically, he knew and he allowed it for a reason and I could see the reason maybe, I need to learn the program better. By doing it all a second time, maybe I would learn really quick. You came out to hang out with me? Followed me to hang out with me. <laughs> the ducks, um, you know, another situation where there's nothing I could do about it except order the fencing, which I did immediately. <laughs> but sometimes there's these situations, you just, you have no control. And so there's no use in just wallowing in it and letting it affect your day. And then as parents, as mothers, I would say, my attitude affects the whole household so much more. Um, I realize it more and more every year I parent that my attitude affects theirs. Sometimes I have to really talk to myself, but it, may, it helps to turn that around so fast because my kids are also watching me. They're watching my reactions. They saw what is actually both of the internet ones. They witnessed me as it was happening and they saw my disappointment. Of course I was disappointed and they saw my natural human reaction, uh, but they also saw me turn it around and decide that it was not going to ruin our trip, it's not gonna ruin my day, it was not the end of the world situation. So it's good to be able to have those teachable moments for myself and for my kids all at the same time. So my dad's been in the kitchen, the papa, the chef, chef the papa. <laughs> He's been filming a video of chili dogs. Coney Island dogs or something. Coney Island style, that's right. Yeah, was, New okay. York, Detroit, yeah. I mean, we had these places run by Greeks oh. all through Detroit. I think they're still there. I need to call and ask some friends. And you would go there, and that's what you would have for lunch. These In the Greek diets. restaurant? No, they were like, um, uh, what do they, they call them? Coney Island places. I don't know what else they Just call Just little them. huts that you... Well, they right. weren't huts. They were like storefronts. Oh, okay. And you would go in, and they had just... That's all they did almost. They did other things. Oh. Uh, but mostly just uh, Coney Island stuff. <laughs> I, and we would eat... Uh, and then, of course, in New York, you go down the street. Coney Island yeah. is in New York, so I think, yeah. they're, I think they're originally from New York. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Yeah, I love Greek food. I, and yeah, man, anything no. Greek. No wonder I love them so much. No, well, I don't think it's Greek, Greek though. It's you know, Greek. I mean, it's just that it. Oh, uh, they ran it. Yeah. yeah. Greek people found out what Americans like. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Smart. that's what Smart. it was. This little girl's a year and a half, and she is so easy. She's been so easy on this trip. She's made it much easier. Seth is also easy, and then the the older kids have all been helping so much. I didn't even have to give them like a lecture, like your dad's not here. You have to help. Maybe he gave it to her. <laughs> 
God. I don't think they needed it. They just stepped up and helped. But they're smart children. They also recognize that they help me out and kind of help take Solo's place in some ways that we'll, we can do more stuff. <laughs> we can have more flexibility. So they've just been so helpful. One day, the little ones were really tired and Judah took everyone else down to Destiny to the beach. So that was a lot of kids for him to take and they he said they did so well for him. So it's just been like when we have young young children babies newborns it's a lot harder if i'm sick with a pregnancy or something it's so much more challenging on a vacation who is that doing all that you know she's tired so she just her i've noticed she That's just her? non-stop listen to her <laughs> she's just like hey what are you doing what are you saying what do you want what's going on i'm too tired to get up why <laughs> She's just telling something off. She is telling something. I think I think it was him. Uh huh. She told him off. Yeah, go ahead and tell him off. All right. Well, we're gonna eat dinner and put some little ones to bed. Judah, I think, is gonna take some kids back to the beach tonight just for like a dusk swim. Um, that's something so often we'll do with the kids and he thought it would be a good night tonight and then tomorrow we're going to church so I'll probably vlog, vlog again once this uh, Florida trip I just wanted to let you guys know turkey where we're at and what we're doing oh turkey dinner tomorrow he said he's making a turkey <laughs> I'm tired too much shopping <laughs> bye okay I already ended this vlog and it's late but I had to come back on here because I yeah. had to tell you a story oh, big deal. Uh, this has been a story vlog but Whoa. This is an incredible story. So as soon after, I told you Judah was taking the kids to the beach. Soon after, I get a phone call from Judah to tell me what happened the minute they got there. He said I set that up like a Netflix documentary. <laughs> Luca, come. We need you, Luca. We need you for the story. <laughs> what happened? Explain what happened. <laughs> Uh, it's not funny at all, but funny. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to come down out of the stress. Some stress reactions are laughing. There is a guy drowning in the ocean, like about five, the beginning. About five wow. minutes after we got there. He didn't know how to swim. He got caught up in a riptide and taken real deep in. And he had a lot of his family with him, but none of them knew how to swim either. So they were just on the beach shore panicking. And someone came, came over and waved down Luca and us. Look at me and another guy who was also on the beach and we got out there and pulled him out. He was in a lot of shock. He had swallowed up a lot of water and we pulled him to the shore. Wow. And how soon after that did the EMF? And then like about five minutes after after we got him out, dozens of like police and oh. firemen and Coast Guard, I don't know. Who so they called, someone called 911. Yeah, well, actually, the guy who came and waved us down people. was on the phone um, with them while he called us. Wow. I bet they were telling him, find someone on the beach that yeah. can get to him. Yeah, I think they did. Did you receive a reward? Did they give you any money? For saving him. <laughs> he saved a life. That was a reward. <laughs> My reward is <laughs> Lucas said he, he didn't want to stay around yeah. for this interview, but he said he's never swam so fast in his life. Yeah, I've never ran or swam. <laughs> there were a wild doubt. There were little ways down the beach we ran. I yeah. I remember sprinting so fast. And yeah. Then I swam. So the other guy was closer, the guy that was about 20. Yeah. And he, he was already there kind of holding him he up. He was there by the time we got there because he was a lot closer to the... But he probably wouldn't have been able to pull him in alone. Do it was a you long... remember, did you ever hesitate as you were going into the water and thinking, I wonder if I should do this or not? I didn't think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Luca, did you think about that? I'm confident in my ability. <laughs> Crickets. That's what I thought swim. about. And there was already a guy You did? There, so was it scary was... watching yeah. it? Yeah. Nah. Was the water cold? Nope, not at all. No, so it wasn't a shock to the man's system, or any, it was a riptide. I'm it sure it was a riptide for sure. Yeah, and then he panicked because he didn't know the swim. Yeah, so he panicked and then he went into shock. When we moved him towards even where he could stand, he was unable to. Stand. Did he try to pull you or Luca under just for shock or you know, like fighting no. you or anything? I don't know. He, I think he fought with the guy that came first. Okay. A little bit. But by the time we got there, feel? all we did was just pull. Just, uh, his did he push you away or anything like that? He didn't move. He did you like, turn him upside down, like so he was on his back to pull him? Mm -hmm. No. What did you do? How did you do? Grabbed under his arm and just started like, swimming and paddling while trying to. Keep and you were under the other arm. Mm -hmm. 
And the I other guy was the other guy with the other arm. And he stretched out like, his hand and I pulled him. On the side of watching. Did he try to pull your suit off? <laughs> when you're drowning, it's really. I took it's, lifeguard training. It's, it's crazy. You, yeah, and people brain. become like very heavy yeah. if they. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they, 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 don't they can pull you under. Right. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. He wasn't like halfway between. He was like dunking himself under and then coming off and then going under. Like. Uh, so where you got him, there was no uh, terra firma under your feet. There was no. Uh, you weren't on ground at no, all. No. No, you it were was, you were waiting. We were, I mean, you I mean you were uh, treading water. Yeah, but there was three. There was, by the time there was three of us, it wasn't very hard for us. Yeah. yeah. So if you it said was just me. It would have been a. So you shot. had to bring yeah. him totally out of the water. He couldn't even. He couldn't even. Basically, maybe once it got to like below his waist, he was able to. Uh huh. Walk somewhere out there. Wow. Wow. You said he was wide-eyed, but not talking for a long time. Yeah. Did you do mouth to mouth? <laughs> <laughs> he was spitting up water. <laughs> oh, that poor guy. Do any of these things like this on his chest? Uh, no, he's oh, wide he's awake. <laughs> oh boy, don't get an emergency <laughs> around him, man. <laughs> he's gonna try to bring you back to life. So you said the beach was full of people, but it was all non-swimmers. Yes, lots or of non older couples. Or elderly couples. So you guys passed up a bunch we of men, like in their seventies. Yep. Couple of guys in my like 70s um, that were trying to get like out there. Yeah. Wait, they were all like kind of half waiting, or the guy, the two guys were trying to get out there because you could tell they were swimmers and everything. And yeah, they were, slow. they were slower. And then the uh, there was a lot of family trying to like get up to wherever their knees were, trying to wait. Wow. Well, this elder fellow that was kind of like elder fellow. His way into, <laughs> elder fellow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so they were trying to help. They just couldn't get there once fast. Once we got him to like a shower part, that guy also came and, and helped. Was like trying to talk to him. Oh, uh, wow. So did you hesitate at all, Luca? Mm -hmm. Like on your way out there, did you think, oh, I can't bring that guy in? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, weren't, we, weren't we were moving so fast. You we weren't thinking about anything. No. Oh, that's awesome. I love that you guys run into this situation. The other question I had is, can you guess how long it took you to swim him in? Well, it felt it's so quick. fast to me. No. I don't know how long it, it was. Really oh. Quick. Uh, but he was far out there. I didn't really either. I don't know how we got him so real fast. And three of you, that's how. Yeah, it was three. three there you go. Yeah, well, it's like a propeller. Guy, yeah. So he wasn't able to like move him. He was just like keeping him over the water. Yeah. And then I came, and then we were kind of slowly back our ways, and then Judah did. Yeah. Yes, Judah had to go back and tell Micah to watch the kids quick before he ran. Yeah, wow, good job, guys. That was oh, memorable. Yes, Judah, this is the second person he has saved from drowning in his life, yeah. and he is 19 years old. He saved a little kid in Kenya that he found in a pool. Wow. I said dad once that one time. <laughs> Oh, his feet got tied up in the kayak. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. And you went under the water. <laughs> wow, look at that. Was your second? He was with my cousin. We were walking out. The other one. From yeah. yeah. we were walking like, to the back, and yeah. we saw a kid <laughs> drowning in a pool. And I hopped in and hoisted him up, and Brian was standing there and pulled him right out. Wow. This is good timing. I tell you, they were going, they were moving slow to get to the beach tonight, but they got there at the exact right time. You're a real fisher of men. <laughs> <laughs> Eli thought that was funny. Eli, were you swimming out there to help too? Yeah. Yes, you were. Yeah, he, he was right with us. He, uh, he was. Yeah, that's he was awesome. Right. Oh, that's so cool. So Eli, Eli, my Eli, Eli my wow. Was Micah, but he got there a little late. Uh, yeah, he had to watch you guys. So <laughs> tell me, at the end, you guys were there at the beach for a while swimming, then at the end, the guy had kind of recovered, the paramedics left. Well, and they were still there. Oh, they were. Actually, what was interesting is, I don't know what was going on, but there was another car down at the end of the parking lot. That had a fire truck and people out. Oh boy! So we didn't go check it out. It was well, like, they took it him into well the hospital, down. didn't they? It was the ambulance, huh? They took him into like the no, hospital. No, he was right there. Remember? Mm -hmm. No, but they took him in and then brought him back. 
Because the truck is. Oh, oh, they, they took, took him, him to the, the truck. truck. Yeah. Oh, to the, the truck. truck. Yeah. Yeah. Or, no, not him. Down the road with another car with totally different people. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. So the. Oh, my God. Wild night at the beach tonight. Oh, my God. I don't know what was happening in America. Yeah. But, so, but, so the guy came and talked to you right so when he was, saw you leaving? There was, I'm telling you, there's actually dozens, like 20, 30. Of rescue people? Of, Police, different, different rescue people wow. all along, and they kept showing up. You should have called us. Well, we would have come out. He wow. did call. He called out of breath. The minute he got oh, out, he's like, oh. "We just saved someone's life." We should have gone over there. That would have yeah. been fun. Yeah. When I called you, the paramedics hadn't even shown up. Yet. Oh no, we kidding! Saw, they, they came over. Oh, yeah, just the wow, <laughs> you were out of breath. As I was hanging up with you, we, I started seeing them yeah. right before I. Was wow. There were a lot of them there. Oh, then the guy came over to you when he saw you leave. Even later, much as we like, leaving, they were down by the shower, so we walked right past them. Him and some of the family was were there, uh -huh. and he was like, "Thank you so much, you saved my life." I'm wow! So grateful. And he came and he gave us, came and shook our hands. Wow! So he was, and you the think the whole family came and that's it. Oh. <laughs> shook your hand. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> the, guy, oh, the guy was still shaking up. I like you know, Oh, after, poor guy. You see, like, his, he he just said, like, "Oh, I'm still in shock," but like. Yeah. He so, said that. so his English was good. It's just a yeah, lot of the older family like members were. We thought his English was, English English was bad right like away. Oh. Uh, it seemed like he wasn't understanding anything. Or, oh, he was just in shock. Realized, so it was after when it was more normal that we realized that oh, was totally. You know what? Shocked. They thought the guy was about in his thirties, young thirties maybe. So anyway, I'm very maybe, proud of him. Maybe they, 20s, oh, maybe twenties. We don't know. Anyway, I just had to tell you guys that story. See ya. Mm -hmm.